Hey! <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate dinner. <laughs> um, my throat hasn't been recovered for, for a while. But anyways, uh, welcome to my video of showing of me showing one, a few drawings I drew for each cartoon character. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will also do a side by side comparison for each character. So let's do it. <clears throat> so let's begin the showing my cartoon 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 character drawings. So here's my very first um cartoon character I drew uh, this is number one from Codename Kids Next Door and I drew him because I was bored and I know I know he looks really half-assed and I know I tried to make him accurate as possible from the show but that didn't work out I will try maybe I will try to do another I will not I will try to do another try to draw this character but anyways Let's uh, go to next to the other one. Here is Wonder from Wonder Over Yonder. He, it was my very first attempt to draw Wonder. This is when I started to draw characters from Google Images and I tried my best to make him accurate from the show. But as you can see, his eyes are way too small and Wonder is also way too tall and his hands are way too big so I, like I said I am I, I will say this I'm not very, very good at drawing but I I am trying my best so let's go get on with the next one here are Cartoon Network characters as you can see I drew Cartoon Network logo I tried to make it as accurate as possible from the original Cartoon Network. I drew this for the memory in the memory of the original Cartoon Network, the old one from nine from 1990s, and it is because I loved uh, uh, these characters and these shows that I watched as a kid. So let's see what what I drew. Here is Bubbles. So Bubbles was a really hard character to draw. And um, that's because of the legs and pigtails, but it's because of the eyes, as you can see. It's pretty half-assed, and it's really hard because her head, I should have drawn bubbles bigger because her eyes are very huge, and because of that, the drawing doesn't look as good as possible. So, here is the next one. Next uh, Cartoon Network character, Dexter. Dexter was also not an easy character to draw. Um, hardest, the hardest part for me was drawing his glasses. Uh, as you can see, they're not very accurate, like in the side-by-side -side comparison. But at least I tried my best, and I had fun drawing the, the Dexter. Next is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh my god, this character. Jesus Christ, this character was okay to draw but I tried so hard this was like one of the most hard one of my first hardest characters to draw and it is because of courage's design I tried to I like I said I like I'm saying I tried my best to make him as accurate as possible from the show from the Google image and the last one is Samurai Jack yeah I should not Film like this, but anyway, Samurai Jack. Holy Christ! This this character was the hardest thing to draw in existence, and it took me like I don't know four hours to draw Samurai Jack. And I tried to tried my hardest to make him as accurate as possible from the Google image that I found. And the hardest part was definitely his face. As you can see, it's not very. It's kind of is accurate, but look at the eyes, they look really weird, as you can see, the hair is not all black. Um, I drew this with pencil with my own arm, and the sword and the hand uh, where Jack holds the sword was the toughest uh, thing to do, but uh, I somehow managed to draw Samurai Jack. And that's it for Cartoon Network characters. Next, next up is Nickelodeon characters. 
Oh boy, these characters! Jesus Christ! Aside from Timmy Turner, these characters were the hardest part to do. Oh my God, they are, these guys are were, were the hardest characters to draw in the existence. Timmy Turner was pretty easy. Uh, Zim, well, I tried my best to draw Zim as accurate as possible from the show, and I know if I failed or not, but. Christ, his uh, his head and his mouth was the hardest part. As you can see, his teeth not, don't look very accurate, and and his tongue is not very accurate as well. But I tried my best to draw him as accurate as possible from the show, and that's how my and it took me a lot of desperation to draw this character. Next, sorry for the son who cut my phone memory, my storage for my smartphone is not very big, so I had to delete a game for to continue this recording. Anyways, here's Danny Phantom. Um, as you can see, he's not very good. He was also a really, really hard character to, to draw. Mm, yeah, look at his eyes, they look really weird. They look not, don't look very good. I tried my best to make him accurate to the show, but he has way too many black and gray, you know, lines and stuff. So it was really hard to draw this character, especially when he's holding his hands like this. As you can see, it's really hard if you see if he has hands or not. But <laughs> this character was really also really hard to draw. And next is XJ9 from My Life is Teenage Robot. My Life is Teenage Robot. I know, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right. But this character, Jesus Christ, this character was okay to draw, but the hardest part were, were her fingers. As you can see, they look like eggs, and her fingers, when I drew them, they look like broken. And I tried my best to draw her. I created it from the show, uh, like I said, I'm trying to say is that I tried every character to draw, uh, every cartoon character to draw accurately from the show, the show's kind of parts. So that is XJ9 and also the Nickelodeon logo. I tried to make it as accurate as possible from the old days. So yeah, that's Nickelodeon characters. Next is, I don't know if you call this a cartoon character or not, but Spider-Man! <laughs> so, Spider-Man, uh, he's a Marvel character from the comics, but also he had his own awesome TV show, cartoon show called Spectacular Spider-Man. I tried to make him as accurate from the from Spectacular Spider-Man TV show, but unfortunately I failed. He's a superhero, so really hard to draw. As you can see, his spider symbol is way too big, his eyes look really weird, he's like saying, are you serious bro? <laughs> and his legs are also not that accurate, I tried my, like I said, I tried my best to make him accurate from the show as possible. You'll see the same comparisons in the end of the video. Next, probably are the last two characters, cartoon characters, and here's Tom the Cat from the hanna Barbera's uh, Tom and Jerry show. This character, oh my god, he's what he was also a pain to draw. His face especially. And as you can see his hand it looks like it's broken. And he's way really too short and I'm trying my best to draw cartoon these cartoon characters as short as possible so they don't take uh, the whole uh, a lot of space for the page. I hope you can see this, <laughs> but Tom's face, I drew to frustration, I don't know how I I tried so hard to draw Tom's face accurate as possible from the hanna uh Tom the Cat show, show or Tom and Jerry. And the last character is Randy Cunningham from 90th grade ninja, from Randy Cunningham, Randy 9th grade ninja, man that's mouthful. Um, this character was okay to draw, but the hardest part for me was drawing his fingers. Mm, this finger is okay, and as you can see, some of his 
lines for, for the costume look way out and his cape cowl or cape uh, is way too big <clears throat> but I tried to draw him as accurate as possible so th those are cartoon characters I drew hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoyed the side by side person for my cartoon characters and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more cartoon characters I drew and don't forget to share this video on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe if you guys want to or not. But anyways, see you guys later. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. Take